where I get to show you some of the best in Japanese culture. And for those of you who don't know, in our very first segment of Steve the Weeb, Nick and I covered various aspects of Japanese culture, such as desserts, anime, and even Japan itself. And today, I have a surprise for you. Woo! Nick, come on ah! out. Yeah! Yay! He's back! Thank you, look beautiful. Mm. Oh, Thank you so much for joining me again. You look good. I am so excited to talk about this. I am too. I'm, I've waited uh, a few weeks for this. I know. Yeah, quite a few weeks. I had to work on my vacation for this. I know you did. You did. How dare they? How dare everyone? Well, we're really happy to see you and you look awesome. I'm thank you so here. much. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Of course. Uh, and thanks to all of you for raising enough money. Seriously, I was able to acquire this, <laughs> this beautiful, beautiful dress thanks to all of you. And I was able to take it with me on my trip to Japan. Mm -hmm. And I think it's time for all of you to see the fruits of your labor. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about it. So, Nick, okay, a couple questions for you. Mm. Were you nervous about this whole thing? Did it make you nervous? I was terrified. Yeah. I was terrified. I so the big thing for me was like putting the dress on, finding a place to actually get dressed in public. I was like, mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna have to go to the restroom. But then as I was getting dressed in the men's restroom, I was like, it's probably gonna look really weird if I come out of here in a yeah. dress. So I just like tucked everything up into a big jacket mm -hmm. and then kind of shuffled out and everyone's already looking at my leggings and they're like, oh God, I need those leggings in my life. Uh, I but that. I think where I kind of, oh, man, I think where I kind of came, down. I kind of came to like, okay, this is fine right here where I'm about this to cross This guy's filming you. <laughs> Oh. And I felt totally comfortable here because I was like, you know what? I've already committed. All I have to do at this point is just walk straight. Right. Walk just straight keep and walking. just keep a straight face. Just keep your visor yeah. on. But I mean, cool. okay, so a little weird. A few people were watching you, following you, videos. Right. You, but wouldn't that, like, isn't there kind of like a, an aspect of, I mean, you see a lot of Harajuku girls there and in Japan and in the Harajuku district. Mm -hmm. They kind of have this, this weird sense of, of things like style and in Japan it's kind of quirky as it is. So wouldn't it, already kind of, wouldn't it be not, I mean, ab totally normal to them? I mean, the big thing is like, as, See that? as a foreigner, it's always easy to say like, oh, Japan's so crazy, isn't it WTF weird? Like, ah, they're so silly. But at the same time, <laughs> once you go and actually visit the location, it, it's kind of like, the, fetish, the fetishization of that place gets kind of demystified and you're kind of like, oh, these are just normal people who work nine to five jobs and just want to go home and have a beer. So it's okay. just like, these are just normal people. Yeah. And I think that's very important for people to realize. So, yeah. yes, this is still weird for them especially to see, I think. What, what you say, some gaijin or... Yeah, especially as a gaijin, a, a, yeah. yeah, gaijin looking like yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of weird. Being there. Did, uh, did anyone notice you at all, anybody in particular, or say anything weird to you? I mean, you? they didn't really say anything, but they did the thing where it's like a, a group of girls would look at me and then just hee 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 oh. giggle. And I, was, and I just oh, never I felt more... That. I've never felt more self-conscious in my entire life. Look at that. Uh, but See, that, there's a group of girls. That, that being said, though, there are. were a lot of dudes who would like give me the once over. They would look me up and down, and they'd realize, oh, that's a dude. Good, that's a dude. But I'll say, like, hey, that means I, that, that means I got a rock and bottom, right? Did you see any other Harajuku girls there the, in the district? So that was another thing. I thought I was like, I'm gonna be able to blend in with all the other Harajuku girls. I'll be uh -huh. fine. Literally, the only Harajuku you... girl was me. Oh my god! <laughs> so I stood out like a sore thumb with blue hair. All that was for the best, then. That did, was good. It was good. Did anyone appreciate your beautiful dress? Yes, actually, there was one really? person who actually stopped me on my trek through Harajuku and said, "Hey, man, is is it cool if I take a picture of you?" And oh. I was like, "Absolutely, you can." I felt so validated during all of this. Oh, it was great. I love it. Look I at that. I think he was there with his wife or his girlfriend. Was that the guy? Yeah, yeah, that was That's him. That's the guy. Oh, yeah, that's he, awesome. He was very friendly, and he took multiple photos. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool, because you had Lolita, because maybe because there was nobody else there that day. Yeah, that man. Able to see. I represented Harajuku. I know you did. Look I at you go. And you look beautiful and wonderful, and I'm so glad it worked out. Thank you for Thank having you. the guts to do that. So we want to take some questions from our community yeah. that um, cool. they want to Let's ask about your adventure there. Fine Queso asks, will you ever wear the dress facing the correct direction? Yes, is I it, did. Is it on I right, did right it now? right today. Yay! OK, so here's I the thing. I almost wore it the wrong direction again today, but then Coral's was like, hey, I think it's on backwards. So I was like, all right, I'm trusting you, Coral. So. Yep, it's on right. I can tell. There we go. Was, there we is go. It, um, is it more comfortable to wear this? No, way? this thing is so hot. Okay. Oh, it's yeah. very hot. You're hot. Yeah, you're, you're hot. hot. Jason, thank you. I appreciate that. I feel pretty. You are pretty. You are pretty. With that, I think you should get your hair done like this. I like it. Uh, Windy City Kid 89 asks, how many people hit on you uh, over in Japan while you were all dressed up? While I was dressed up, none. Oh. 
<laughs> when you weren't dressed up? Just just once when I wasn't dressed up. <gasps> what happened? Is it a Japanese man, yeah, woman? No, it was, a, it, was a Jap- <laughs> it was a it was another woman at the at a gaming bar I was at. She was very friendly. She was very cool. Did you make a friend out of her? Yeah, she was a friend. That's awesome. Oh, oh, very cool. Oh, oh, and I know, hey yo. And we have one more question uh, from Forgotten Toothic. What's the most important advice for someone visiting Japan? Uh, the most important thing people can do, I'd say, is probably just do something that makes them uncomfortable. And it doesn't have to be something as extreme mm-hmm. as this. Yeah, but I think that, You're like, right. as someone, as I consider myself as someone who's very introverted and very quiet. Mm-hmm. So I made it a point on my vacation to go out, go out to restaurants and bars and actually actively try and engage in conversation with people. Because you went alone. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I just, you know, try and talk with people and make connections, you know? Be a human. That's yeah. really cool. And it's very fun. It's of very course. fun. So. Please. And I applaud you for going Please alone and without friends and doing all that. I think yeah, that's awesome. Fun. Nick, you are so awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you again to the community for buying Nick this dress and getting him one step closer to becoming a hard yeah. girl forever. And thank you, Nick, for your bravery. Seriously, thank you so much for being here and doing this. And you're so awesome. Yeah. And, and, and taking the time to work on your vacation. You look beautiful. I hope you keep that forever. Anything for the family. Oh, yeah. Anything, Anything for, for the family. community. And thank you guys for that. Yeah. Oh, wait. That wasn't hot enough for you? Oh, mm. excuse me? Then how about something a little more steamy? Huh? Hey, it's hot and streamy. Hey, oh.